the anniversary of the first time I broke a date with Candy. So I'm gonna write her a love letter using Funky's plane. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Who celebrates that anniversary? It's like celebrating your first toothache. I know, but we had so much fun on our real anniversary, now Candy wants to celebrate everything. Oh, you got it bad, big guy. Candy's turned you into a robot. All right, DK dude. Ready to make like a poet and paint the sky with your cosmic message of love? Maybe I'll catch up to you later, little buddy. Let's see if it works. Robot, walk. Robot, stop. Robot, get to work. Robot, stop working. Works like a charm. I could build a mechanical barrel maker in my sleep. But for real inventing genius, these brain transfer helmets have to be my piece de resistance. Enemy security has been breached, and I know who's gonna love this gossip. <laughs> I mean, intelligence. At Bluster's Barrel Works, we keep on the cutting edge of technology. We're driving in the fast lane on the information highway. Automation, innovation, that's my new motto. Bluster's Barrel Works is getting a barrel-making robot. Barrel-making robot? but. That's my job. Don't worry, Candy. You're being promoted. The boss, that's me, needs a personal assistant. You know, take letters, answer phones, join me on picnics. In your dreams, Bluster. You could be investing in my future by giving me a raise. Candy, a robot will be able to work all day. Never complain and never leave early to go for long lunches with Donkey Kong. For your information, I can do more work than any robot. And what's more, I'll bet I can train anybody to make barrels faster than your robot. Anybody? Anybody. Okay, I'll bet you that my robot can do as good as or better than the laziest ape on the island. Who, DK? Uh, I mean, you're on. If I win, you give me a raise. And if I win, you come on a picnic with me. Deal. DK is incapable of work, hard or easy. <sighs> but he is awfully sweet. Crusher, uh, bring me a, a, a barrel of salt. Uh, here it is. Oh, let's see. I'm cooking. There's the pot. Maybe I want it in the pot. What you making? This is my mother's recipe for muffins. Muffins fit for a king. Oh, clump. Just in time to see me put the final touches on my mother's magnificent muffins. Care for a taste? Uh, negative, sir. Yeah. General Clump, returning from a successful reconnaissance mission behind enemy lines. What earth-shattering news do you have to report, Clump? The bananas aren't ripe and the monkeys are in a tizzy? Cranky has invented a new contraption, your flaky pastriness. And what might that be? It's a device that transfers knowledge from brain to brain. Given my choices, I think I'll stay with the brain I have now. Now, if it transferred power, well, then we'd have something. Of course, knowledge is power. And knowledge comes from books. And if the device could transfer that knowledge to me... Clump! I need that machine! I want you two numbskulls to get me that machine. And if you do, I'll have some of Mother's muffins waiting for you. Okay, DK dude, let's finish this up. Let's a do! Ah, oh, look who's here, Donkey Kong. Nice of you to drop in. I got some errands to run. You keep your eye on the coconut. And don't touch anything. Relax, Cranky. You can count on me. I mean it. Keep your mitts to yourself. 
Welcome to Daddy, my little yellow friend. What? No bananas? That's even worse than... There's nothing worse than no bananas. Hey, look! I'm General Club. Ten hut! Find some bananas, soldier. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Huh? But whatever it was, it sure made me hungry. I gotta have a banana or I'm gonna pass out. We're back, DK. DK? <clears throat> Look at you. Fast asleep. And too lazy to even crawl onto the couch. And playing with my experiments. Wake up, DK! Now hop to it! DK, give it a rest! Honestly, even Bluster's robot has more brains than you. DK, where was that robot? Yes, Craigie, where is my robot? He wouldn't! He couldn't! He must have. You're not gonna believe this, Bluster. DK and the robot switched brains. The robot has DK's brain. In that case, I expect a discount. Now, where is it? Uh, not here. Ooh, boy! I gotta go find it. Just stay here, and don't touch anything, either of you. Trying to get good help these days, it's like banging your head against the wall. Obedient, isn't he? Hmm. I paid for a robot, and I'm entitled to a robot. Even a big, hairy, ugly one. Robot, stop. Robot, walk. Bananas. Gotta find bananas. Hey, Diddy. Care to join me for a little power snack? How'd you do that? Where are you hiding? It's a trick, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Tell me. Are you feeling okay? Okay, DK. You got me. Joke's over, so come on out. <laughs> Help, Diddy. I've fallen and I can't get up. Can you pass me a banana, little buddy? DK? Is that really you? Who else would it be? Is there something you should tell me, Big Buddy? Are you aware of the glare from the sun shining off of your hair? I don't know what you mean. It's just a healthy shame. I must admit, I feel a little strange. Never felt better and stronger than ever. Can't you see nothing's changed? I don't know how to tell you, metal buddy. But you look just like a solar power turbocharged washing machine. I'm not light on my feet now. I clank and I squeak. My voice is the same when I speak My hand looks like aluminum foil Does this mean that I need a tune-up and a change of oil? I'm a metal head, a metal head, a metal head, a metal head I'm a metal I trust all that primping is for the purpose of our picnic date. I'd rather go on the picnic with your stupid robot than go with you. To be blunt, Candy, I think you've already been there, done that. Let me introduce you to my new robot. Robot, walk in! DK? DK, what's the big idea? Is this some kind of joke? Now watch this. Robot, work! What's going on here? How'd you do that? Simple. He's a robot. Cranky was able to put a brain where before there was none. And now he does exactly what I tell him, which means I win our little bet. Come on, DK, the joke is over. Don't forget, a bet's a bet. I don't know what's going on, but it's not funny, and I'm mad at you both. And as far as I'm concerned, you can go cuddle with Bluster from now on. Wait! Stop! No! 
What if Cranky can't do anything? Then I'd stay out of the rain if I were you. I leave you alone for five minutes and look what happens. You do know how to switch DK back, don't you, Cranky? Nothing could be easier. Phew! Phew. Except one thing. What? I don't have your other body anymore. How could you lose my body? I went out to look for the metal you and left the big hairy you alone with Bluster. Uh, he must have taken you to be his robot. He better not be working me too hard. Enough! Oh, you greatest bag of bones! Ah! Robot, stop working! <sighs> That's better. Finally, some peace and quiet. Robot, you give me a pain in the neck. Wait! No, Robot, no! Now, remember the plan. We decoy an attack on the coconut, and then grab the helmet gizmos. Not the coconut. We always want the coconut. Oh, never mind. Let's go. And this time, don't touch anything or I'll turn you into a toaster oven. We'll be back in no time, big buddy. Crax, Donkey Kong, get him! Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Banana <laughs> <laughs> That looks like a breakdance jukebox. <laughs> get him, robot. Oops, I think I broke it. <laughs> Cranky, they got the helmets! Looks like it's up to us. Come on, you big bulkers. I'm not afraid of you. Put him up! Come on, I dare you. <laughs> I'm going after them! What? Oh, at least they didn't get the coconut. Oh, DK and Bluster, I... I can't believe they team up against me. Why, when I get my hands on them again? <laughs> the boss will be happy with this. Uh, oh, no! I'm out of uniform! <laughs> Got to get the gizmos. Oh, oh. Don't forget the general, too. Oh, a little shell shot, uh, but otherwise they okay. Takes more than a little bump to put a five-star general out of commission. I've been trying to lose weight, but that's ridiculous. Candy, you see Clump and Crusher? Salute when you're dressing off, Sir Private. Why would I salute you, Candy? Oh, no reason. <laughs> I mean, no reason. What's the matter with your voice? Sounds like you have a frog in your throat. Or even a croc. What? Who said that? Candy, it's me, DK. Oh, you're a walking, talking, walkie talkie. I mean, uh, is that you? Your pumpkinness? I can explain. I think. Somehow my brain ended up inside Bluster's robot. And then, while I was trying to save the crystal coconut, Crusher knocked my block off. Yeah, uh, he darn near tore you in two. I mean, uh, too bad. Should we go after those guys? Yeah, I think we should reconnoiter at Cranky's place. We reconnoiter? We wouldn't want to risk that devilishly clever General Club getting his hands on the crystal coconut. And you're sure this is the right invention? That was the only gizmo. Excellent. Supreme and ultimate knowledge. And a jaunty fashion statement. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> what on earth are you doing tied up like that? He's broken. Untie him now. How dare you tie me up? Didn't anyone ever tell you that's no way to treat a lady? Donkey Kong is gonna skin you and use your hide for hiking boots if you don't let me go this instant. General Clump, pull yourself together. Clump? Are you blind? Do I look like Clump to you? As a matter of fact, yes. <gasps> ah! Oh, no! What happened to me? I need some moisturizer now! <sighs> How very strange. It looks like Clump, and he definitely smells like Clump, and yet he sounds like... Candy! Candy Kong! Somehow there must have been a switch. Oh, it really works. It really, really works. Now I have the power to suck all the knowledge from every book in Congo Bongo. I'll be brilliant. I'll be the smartest being on the island. You could read every book on the island and you'd still be only half as smart as the crystal coconut. You're right. You bet I am, Buster. Maybe I don't need every book on the island. 
Maybe I just need to hook myself up to the crystal coconut. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant and diabolical. Oh, I love it. Thank you, General. That's quite possibly the best idea you've ever had. Russia, let's go get the coconut. Is it fixed? Am I all better? Can I walk? Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Hey, hey, hey I made it funny. Ah, I give up. I can't fix it. Uh, shouldn't we be planning a raid on the bosses? I mean, <clears throat> Karul's lair? Uh, to get back that brain switch thingy? You're probably right about that, can ye? And I'll guard the coconut. Around the clock sentries, um, undercover surveillance. <laughs> Just guarding it the best way a gal knows how. <laughs> I'll stand guarded with candy in case any intruders show up. What are you gonna do, DK? Headbutt them? <laughs> 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 no, hold on. DK will be okay. He's got a good head off his shoulders. <laughs> oh, this is giving me a headache. Headache. <laughs> Get it? Headache. <laughs> you know, DK, you can always hit him off the cross. After giving them a head. Sure you can handle this candy? No croc is gonna steal the coconut when I'm around. Not even that ruggedly handsome General Clump. Ooh. No croc's gonna steal the coconut because I'm gonna steal it myself. <laughs> oh, candy, what are you doing here? Oh yeah, robot, stop. Well, Cranky's not around, so uh, see ya. What's the matter with your voice? Ah, uh, a little cold. Uh, say, as long as we're alone, maybe we could start our picnic date. What do you say, my adorable little pet? Mm. Oh, you you are way out of line, soldier. I'll tell Cranky you stop by. Okay, come. We're here. We want it. Hey. Why are you all tied up? It certainly took you long enough. Now, will you untie me already? Candy? Hey, of course I'm Candy. Who do I look like? Where's DK? I know that he must be behind all this craziness. Hi, Candy. Ah! DK! Is that you? You look terrible. Have you taken a look in the mirror lately? Never mind all the lovey-dovey stuff. We've got to find the transfer helmets. King Carole has them. He's going to use them to transfer the power of the coconut into his brain. If he does that, there'll be no stopping him. The coconut. Don't worry, Cranky. Candy's guarding it. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> hey, robot monkey, bring me something to eat. I'm waiting, soldier. Now step on it. Hey! General Clump reporting a successful capture of the Crystal Coconut. Clump, you're out of uniform. <laughs> but considering the success of your mission, I'll ignore it this time. Donkey Kong! He's harmless. Watch this. Robot, walk on your hands. Good trick. <laughs> oh, enough fooling around. If I wanted to watch a trained monkey do some tricks, I'd buy a ticket to the circus. Go make a barrel or something. Ah, what are you doing? Love, I thought you said he was harmless. Just in time. Banana Slava! Uh, that's it for me. Good move, Diddy. No watch out. He's going there. What? He's going there. Oh, the back the seat fighting you. Better damage that body, you slimy tadpole. You call this a body? I eat pretzels fatter than this. Diddy, quick, throw me DK's brain. Don't miss Cranky. Now, to put your brain back where it belongs. I'm me, and I'm back. Will you get me out of this? My pleasure. Banana Slayer! Much obliged. Whoa! Okay, Clump, this 
This has gone on long enough. Put the helmet on. Ah, I'm me again. And my skin is so soft. Oh, you must tell me your secret. A little moisturizer twice a day. Works wonders. Is that really you, Candy? It's me. Wanna kiss? <clears throat> Not just yet. Are you club? No, affirmative. And I'll be retreating right now. Exactly my plan, too. <laughs> okay, I'll take that kiss now. Cranky, I demand my money back. I paid for a robot and I got nothing but trouble. You're right, Buster. We had some technical problems. But I think we got the bugs worked out. Forget it. That robot's even dumber than Donkey Kong, if such a thing were possible. I'll give them to you for free. Not interested. I've had it with robots. Robots give me a giant pain in the backside. Pain in backside? <laughs> it's a figure of speech! <laughs> 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 <laughs>